Hey, what's up, YouTube? So, what we want to do in this video is we want to take a 3D stereoscopic video and we're going to convert it into a 2D video that you can watch on your computer or your uh, TV or wherever you want without having to use any 3D uh, devices or technology involved. So, one, once you have the software installed, Avid Max, you just double click to open it and we have it open here and uh, the video we're going to be working with the video I'm going to con convert is I have a trailer of how to train your dragon um, and that's in 3D so here I will play it and you can see that it's duplicated like uh, a normal stereoscopic 3D video will be so what we want to do is we want to cut this cut one portion out and make it just a make it a single video without having duplicates so it's very simple uh, the process is quite simple although the software seems complicated it's definitely a hundred percent very useful software and uh, I'll show you exactly the steps that you need to take so once you have the software open just click this button right here that says open and we're gonna you have to browse to wherever you have your videos so for me I have it in my videos I go to YouTube videos and here I have uh, I have my video right here how to train your dragon series copy 3d trailer 1080p uh, and then we'll hit op open and it'll load if you have a big video it'll take a while to open but now that it's loaded you can click play here and you can see that the video works fine so now that we have our video loaded, the first thing you want to do is here where it says video output, click this, the copy, and then change it to MPEG4 AVC X264. Change it to that. After that, just click the configure button. And then over here, uh, you don't really have to worry about anything else unless you actually know exactly what these things do. You don't worry about anything else. The only thing I'm going to change here is I'm going to change the quality to 14. So over here it says 14. So I'm going to keep it at 14 and we'll hit OK. You'll see that the more you move it to the left, the better the quality is. The more you move it to the right, the better, the lower the quality is. The, the problem is the more, as you move it more to the left, the quality is better, but the file size is going to be huge, way bigger than normal and the more you move to the right the file size will be less but the, qu the quality uh, will also be lower so 14 is a good number 14 I noticed will keep the exact quality of your original video and almost the same file size as well so change it to 14 we'll hit OK after that you want to click filters and we'll click uh, double click on crop and once you have that here where it says write in this box type in 960 and you'll see that this green area that's the area that's going to be cut out so we're cutting out 960 press 960 and then click OK after that double click SWS resize and uh, here what we want to do is you can set the dimensions of the video that you're gonna you're gonna keep. So for me, I can uh, change it to uh, let's say 1280 by 720. You can change it to whatever dimensions you want for your video, 1980 by 1080 if you want. And uh, after that, make sure this is Langsos 3, Langsos 3, and then hit OK then click the preview button and we can just go ahead a few uh, uh, areas and you can check the quality of your video or you can see the video you can see that it's no longer stereoscopic it's just one video we'll hit OK then hit close after that in the audio output area here change it to AAC lab Make it AAC lab, click configure, and I'm gonna change the bitrate to 192 and hit OK. 
and uh, the audio is really your preference you can make it AAC or AC3 uh, those are the main two formats for good quality videos and uh, you can change the bitrate to whatever you want but I keep it at 192 and after that here in the output format click um, select mp4 muxer and uh, that's pretty much it that's all the changes we have to do if you click configure uh, it's already set to whatever it needs to be uh, we don't have to make any more changes now just click this button right here that says save video and we can call that uh, how to train your dragon trailer 2d okay and we'll hit save and now it's going to start doing the processing for the video I'll click I'll change this to above normal so the computer knows that this is an above normal process we'll let it run and uh, as you can see as it's processing it'll it shows you the video size uh, the total size of the video which is good and uh, it also shows us all the details for the video that's being processed so we'll let that go uh, I'm gonna pause my video and then I'll come back when it's close to finishing so I'll show you guys exactly I don't, I, I don't want you to guys to, to just sit here and watch this load so I'll pause it and I'll be back soon okay guys so the video is done loading it says the, the file and then where we saved it has been successfully saved we'll hit OK and then now I'm going to go over to where we just saved the video so we have this one how to train your dragon trailer 2d and you will play it you can see this uh, the video is 225 225 same video and then this is pretty much now you can see that the video has been cut it's been turned into a normal 2d vid, uh, video so that's pretty much it guys this is the original video that we had and this is the cut version that we just created ourselves so that's pretty much the process of how to convert a 3d video to 2d thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and let me know if you have any questions thanks guys and take care